Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. This is part two of the RepRap project. This podcast is going to be all about the hardware. So this one's all done and I'm going to take it apart and show you how it works. <laughs> The parts list for this robot is in the PDF, and we're going to start with the base. We've got plumbing materials, uh, iron pipe that we've drilled holes in and tapped so that we can screw right into them. You, if you had self-tapping screws, you wouldn't even have to tap the holes. Here's the x-axis platform. We're using aluminum to make this, and here's the stepper motor that drives the x-axis, and here's a little IR um, sensor, and it basically senses when the platform is all the way here at the edge so that it stops, so it doesn't just keep going and run into this part. We're going to bolt this onto the steel pipes, and this will be our really solid base. Here's the X platform, and it goes back and forth like this on those rails. You can see on the back here that it rides on these little pieces of felt. I got these, and they are little things for putting on the bottom of chairs and tables so they don't scratch up the floor. In this case, they keep the rails from scratching up the acrylic. There's skate bearings here, and the rail goes right in between here, and these go off like this, and the spring holds them to the rail. This is a really great concept that Zach came up with, and it works awesome. There's a little uh, nut inside here, and the threaded rod goes around, and it's driven by the x-axis stepper, and it pushes the whole thing backwards and forwards. Here's the y-axis stepper, and this is going to do the same thing to the y-axis going up and down like this, while this goes back and forth like that. Here's the Y platform. To put it on, you just go like this, hook it up, and then you, I've got a little piece of uh, tubing here from the aquarium store, and this goes on the threaded rod, and it also fits right onto the stepper motor. Here's the vertical base for the Z platform. This is basically going to hook up to the back of the plumbing there with these big bolts, and then we've got rails here for it to ride on. We've got nichrome wire wrapped around a rod here that has a hole in it so we can push the thermoplastic through it and it will go ahead and melt and squish out. Uh, we had a little thermistor on here which is like a thermometer but unfortunately it completely fried in the heat. So one of the things I'm looking into is getting one of those infrared thermometers. I also didn't have one of the pieces, the cables, that um, is in the original kit that connects to this rod. And so I've manufactured this little part just with a grinder and some aluminum here so that the motor could be mounted here and direct drive the rod here that pushes the thermoplastic into the extruder and spits it out here. Let's put this thing back together. We had some issues with the electronics when we plugged it in. We blew a motor board, and I think we had some grounding issues. Also, remember to make the wires and the connectors just exactly long enough. If you have too many wires going everywhere, you can get some RF interference. Big thanks go out to Monochrome for hosting an awesome cocktail-serving robot exposition that was the motivation for getting this thing put together so fast. Also, thanks to all the folks at Metalab and GRL Vienna for helping put this thing together. Remember, we're on an experimental research adventure here. The software still has a little ways to go, so we'll wait for that to come out before the next podcast. I should mention that this machine has been officially dubbed the Rep Strap. That's because it's not officially a self-replicating machine, but it's a machine that will make parts for a self-replicating machine, thus bootstrapping the self-replication process. You could also make this into a milling machine or put a pen in it and make it a drawing machine. This is a really cool robot that has lots of possibilities. No matter what, make sure to take pictures. I want to see your progress as you make your own bootstrapping, self-replicating, awesome rep strap robot. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis. Go out there, make an awesome robot. Have a great weekend. I got these acrylic pieces cut on a laser cutter. You can find places online where you can order them up and they'll cut them and ship them to you. Or if you get desperate, you can go ahead and make it out of plywood. Either way works.